performance boosts come from a variety of different practices, and sometimes those practices can be chained together. The example code that he optimizes is a letter counter. It wants to know how many of each letter of the alphabet shows up in a Jane Austen novel. The first version of the code loops through each letter in the text, storing its count in a dictionary. The code uses default dict from collections to avoid having to check if the letter's been seen before, uses is alpha to make sure you're only counting letters, and uses lower so that the capital letters and the lower ones get counted as equivalents. Once the dictionary has been created, the code then sorts everything and spits out a list. The first practice is efficiency. How can you do less work to get the same results? So examining the results of the profiler shows that a lot of the time is being spent in that call to lower that I mentioned. It's in the inner part of the loop, and it's getting called on all of the lowercase letters, which, of course, isn't necessary. So a new version of the code just counts all of the letters, putting them in a dictionary, and then does some post-processing to create a new dictionary, merging the capital and lower letter counts. This removes the call to lower from the long inner loop that is what is actually going over the text. He creates a third version, which instead of using a dict, uses a list for storage in an attempt to avoid the overhead cost of hashing. For this to work, certain assumptions need to be made. For example, the rare instances of an accented letter, there must be some French words in Jane Austen's novel, those are going to get ignored. This third approach gives a further 25% speed up, so we're starting to see some accumulation here. The next practice is compilation, switching to a faster language. This is a common approach in Python, which is why libraries like NumPy and Polars are so speedy. The otherwise slow parts are implemented in languages that are faster than Python. Rust is significantly faster, but even in Rust, there's an order of magnitude difference between the dictionary-based approach and the list-based one. So you can even see that even with faster languages. In case you're curious, there's a 165 times speed up between the original Python and the list-based Rust approach. This particular problem is trivially parallelizable as each piece of text is independent of the others, so you can split the novel up into chunks and then divide the work amongst your CPUs. Itamar uses the Rayon library in Rust to add parallelism, and this actually multiplies the speed up by another two times, giving that final 330.